Most people will encounter at least one unscrupulous, two-faced individual during the course of their life. And as the saying goes, when people are two-faced, the only thing you know for sure is that you can't trust either of them. In today's episode of Unusual As Usual, we're going to explore the curse of the man with two faces, aka Edward Mordrek. <laughs> Somewhere between myth and legend lies the strange tale of Edward Mordrake. The tale of his life has been told for generations and details are often missed out or added. There's no solid evidence of a date of birth or death, however the story always includes a few similar details. As the story goes, in the early 19th century Edward Mordrake was born into one of the most wealthy and noble families in England was raised as heir to the family fortune and was set to inherit mountains of money, heirlooms and estates. As a child, Mordrake was said to have been charming and intelligent, was well educated and was a self-taught musician to a very high standard. He had everything one could ask for from life. However, with all these great blessings came a terrible curse. He was said to have been quite handsome when viewed from the front, yet on the back of his head he had a hidden second face. The second face was apparently ugly, evil and twisted. Some versions of the story say the second face possessed its own intelligence and that its eyes would follow people around the room and lips move silently, almost whispering. According to the story, the second face would appear to take great delight in Mordrake's distress over his condition. It couldn't eat or speak but disturbingly, it could smile and frown. Mordrake was constantly plagued by his devil twin, as he called it, and is said to have begged doctors to remove his second face on numerous occasions, swearing that it used to keep him awake at night with evil whisperings only he could hear. He went on to say, it never sleeps, but talks to me forever of such things as they only speak of in hell. No imagination can conceive the dreadful temptations it sets before me. For some unforgivable wickedness of my forefathers, I am knit to this fiend. For a fiend it surely is. The story always concludes with the young lord eventually being driven to insanity at the age of 23. Taking action into his own hands, he kills the second face, committing suicide in the process leaving behind a note ordering the evil face to be destroyed after his death, writing, lest it continues its dreadful whispering in my grave. At his own request, he was buried without a stone to mark his grave. It's a fascinating tale, although the facts about Edward Mordrake have been lost to time, as there's no official documentation of this case. This, however, has not stopped his tale from being told. The duplicated human face dates back centuries, such as Janus, the Roman god with two faces, and, more recently, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Fans of the franchise will remember Lord Voldemort taking over Professor Quirrell's body and latching onto the back of his head, using him for transportation and sustenance. Of course, even the most fanciful stories can contain at least a small grain of truth. So, could there be any truth in this legend? Well, in the late 70s, a man named Chang Su Ping was discovered in a remote village in southwest China, who had been born with a second face, complete with a patch of scalp, a mouth, tongue, several teeth, and other traces of additional facial features. Chang was taken on a six-day journey to reach the nearest hospital where he was diagnosed with a condition known medically as Deprisopus craniofacial duplication, an extremely rare congenital disorder where parts or all of the face are duplicated on the sufferer's head. The throat and lips of the second face could not move independently, but the mouth did react in tandem to Chang opening his. However, it was discovered that Chang's second face had its own primitive brain. Shortly after being discovered, he was brought to the United States to have the second face surgically removed. 
his case and the surgery was documented on the 80s TV show, That's Incredible. His surgery was a success. However, after the show was aired, Chang seems to have returned back to China to his village to live the remainder of his life in private. So, it seems the case of Edward Mordrake may well be based on fact. The condition really does exist, although it's highly unlikely that Mordrake lived with the condition in the 19th century and survived to be 23 years old. First printed mention of Mordrake's story was on the 8th of December 1895 in an article published in the Boston Sunday Post. It appeared in several newspapers that year before also being reported in a medical journal called Anomalies and Curiosities of Medicine. However, the two doctors who attended Mordrake, Manvers and Treadwell, could not be found anywhere else outside of the Mordrake case. And there we have it, the curse of Edward Mordrake, the man with two faces. So do you believe he was once a real person? Or was his tale just an urban legend passed down from generation to generation? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all we've got time for today. But I'll see you all next week. And as always, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. If you want to see more anatomical oddities, you can check out the full playlist by clicking here. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video. And if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about, make sure you add it to the comment section below.